Okay, you foes. You wanna die today. Alien scum. I love infinite spawning enemies. Hey everybody and welcome to part 5 of Spyro and to the Dragonfly, I'm Nostalgia Scott and we're here in Crop Circle Country doing some mini games this time. So let's see what we got going on this time. Uh, I know one's like a platforming challenge and the other one's a UFO challenge, but there we go. We got all of the gems here. 2,049. We're already over a quarter percent done the game with literally only doing two levels and not even 100%ing them. Spyro, I'm glad you're here. I just knew there was something suspicious about this farm. Space cows are everywhere. And now a big UFO is coming to abduct Farmer Dill's cows. There's a prototype tractor beam on this UFO that you can use to beam up the cows and put them into the corral. Hey, wait a minute. How does Farmer John have a UFO? Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? Not gonna lie, the music here is pretty good. Hurry, here it comes now. Don't let that nasty UFO get a single cow. All right, so should have probably went over the controls, but all right, so it's the exact same thing. At, okay, so it's the X button to uh, pick things up. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's over there. Wait, how do I go up? Oh. And then to suck him up, there we go. Man, that's so annoying. Oh my god, he's back to abducting another cow. Come on, man. Can you stop abducting the poor cattle? Like, come on, man. Do these guys even have udders? Like, are they actually cows? I don't think you can get the ones in the corral, though, and you can't technically destroy him either. Or it, I guess, it's just a machine, so I don't think you can destroy it. Oh. Come back here, little cowsy. He's already back to picking up another one, really? Dude, I, I literally just got over there. This UFO can be a real Jankosaurus Rex, and yeah, you have to do this twice. But honestly, the mini games here aren't half as bad as the ones in the Dragonfly Dojo. Those ones were just downright boring and miserable. These ones at least, you know, have a little bit of creativity to them. Like this is still pretty basic Spyro control scheme. It's like the UFO is from Spyro 3. You know, when you fight like the Sorcerer's Group. I will be doing a Reignited Trilogy playthrough here at some point. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to record it today or not, because it requires me to boot up my Xbox or my Switch. We'll be playing the Xbox version because it's like a thousand times better. But, you know. And trust me, this gets more difficult. Do you think this is already annoying as is? Just you wait. Luckily, though, once you suck up the last one, he technically can't do anything. I don't even think like he's around anymore, is he? No, I think he just straight up disappears. So, let's get our uh, third to last uh, dragonfly now. That was awesome, Spyro! You saved all the cows! By the way, I found this dragonfly hiding in the barn. Here you go! Alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> hey, it's Jingle! All right, we got jingle to jingles to jingle jingle jingles. Did you see that? Farmer Dill forgot to lock the gate and the cows got out. And it looks like there's more UFOs this time. Do you think you're up for another run? Farmer Dill, watch. Watch out for gold UFOs this time. All right, where are they though? Where are they? Where are these UFOs? There he is. Now, unlike the uh, big UFO, the gold UFOs can be destroyed, see? Boop. Now, 
Now, and the point of the... The point of these gold ones is to, um... Stop you from picking up the, uh, cattle. Except, I don't remember the fact that these, uh... Gold UFO is spawning in so frequently, by the way. Ah, oh, God, UFO. Oh, come on, man. Really? At least you got one of them. Luckily, these missiles kind of home in a little bit, so they're not that bad at, uh... You know... Allowing you to get to where you need to be. Are you serious? The fact that these gold UFOs spawn back so frequently is just a not. Are you serious? Like, who allows all of these little UFOs to just infinitely spawn back? Like, by the time I, uh, you know, destroy them, they're already back. And you still have to do this six freaking times, like you did originally. Luckily... Wait! Did you see that? That one had spawned right... Right in front of me. <clears throat> okay, UFOs. You wanna die today? Alien scum. I love infinite spawning enemies. That's the best part about any game. Need to remind you about the infinite spawning spiders in a hero's tale when we played it? That was not fun. Luckily, for whatever reason, they can't attack in the corrals. Or suck them up out of the corral, so I'll take it. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Yep. Oh my god, man. These guys are just annoying. Like, how many of them are there? And why do they have to spawn so many of them? Like... Oh my god, man. Like, whoever designed this... Mm, I don't know. Like, it's not terrible, it's just annoying. Because, like, look at this, they're already back. And wait, he didn't even destroy that one. And now he's back to abducting that a cow over there. Look, another UFO spawned in again. Yay. I was gonna say, if he's able to hit me again, this is bogus. Alright, UFOs. Let's let's go to Pound Town. Just you, me, and your alien booties. They have a hitbox after they're already shot down. Which is annoying. Also, the sound effect of the... Like, them being destroyed is so delayed that sometimes sounds like they shot you. And luckily, we beat it. Not too bad. Cool! You did it again! Please take my pet dragonfly as my thanks. Make sure to feed her lots of crickets. She just loves them. That's a she? It better actually have a female name. <laughs> hey, it's j -Dub. I don't think j -Dub sounds like a girl's name. Just saying. Why would I want to take a spin in the prototype UFO? So we should be able to actually do part of the next uh, game too, or part of the next game, part of the next level in this episode too, because we only have one mini game and it's not very long. At least I don't think it's very long. This game does require a ton of patience though compared to other Spyro games. Like Spyro 1 through 3 I can kind of just bum rush through and have no real issue. This game, on the other hand, eh. Now, I know for a fact that the next minigame does use electricity. I could be thinking of a different level, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Also, that's why I said don't go to the minigames until you get all the gems, because, like I said before, the enemies respawn. And it's just annoying. I'm pretty sure the minigame was up here, right? No, it's not. The lives also respawn, that's interesting. Normally in Spyro games, lives don't respawn. Like, you can infinitely kill fodder, though. 
But as for like the jars that have the the life butterflies in it, they tend not to, uh, um, you know, give it to you again. Don't know why this game does that. I, I appreciate it, but it's still kind of weird. Anyways, we got this mini game to go to now, which kind of leads us down a pathway to a farm. It looks like, even though I'm pretty sure that's not at all where it leads us. Now I can't remember what color gen they used for the other Spyro games. I know Spyro 1 used the chest, so yeah, and then in Spyro, the Hero's Tale they used the red one. There's a space whip talk holding that dragonfly hostage. If you activate all the platforms around the tower by jumping on them, it'll lower the tower down so you can rescue it. Alright. Attempt the trial of the platforms? Why do you say it like that? Oh yeah, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if you oh, if you technically do jump and then press triangle, you do have the head bash ability. And that's how we're going to activate those switches over there. Wait, is this going this way? Weird, I thought it was going a different way. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, no double jump in this game. I'm so used to Hero's tail that I almost got the bone zoned out of it, you know? Alright, now we need to go over that way, which means it looks like we're going to have to jump back over here and then jump onto this platform once it gets closer. Alright, that's fine by me, and then we just got to wait a little bit for it to rotate over yonder and then do it again. Boom, there we go, we beat the level. Okay, no, not really. Uh, I remember I said we'll... Wait, I thought I was on electric breath. Did it switch me to fire breath upon switching in? That's weird. Uh. You know, surprisingly enough, these type of minigames don't have a lot of slowdown compared to other ones. Considering there's a lot going on on your screen at one time. This should lower things more, right? I think. Is it doing anything? Oh, I didn't technically hit that one for whatever reason. That was weird. Uh. This is a little, um... This one's a little, uh... I don't know. Anxiety producing? Wait. Why does it never hit the last one for me properly? That's always so weird. And there we go, we killed him. Nice. Well, that's the spirit. Purple dragon sure has some spunk. Now, here's a dragonfly for you, son. Um, your dialogue is weird. But thank you for Rickshaw. Hey, it's Rickshaw. And there we go. Why would I want to attempt the trial of the platforms? Do, 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 do. One hundred and fifty thousand percent level complete. All right, so I'm trying to think of how many videos I've recorded. I do two videos a day. We have tomorrow's videos done. We got um Saturday or um Sunday's videos done. And I still need at least Mondays, because I at least record three days worth of videos. I think we beat this level, right? It just never said 100% complete. Yeah, we're 100% complete, so... Now we can go back to the, the, the Dragon Realms here. Luckily, there's a teleport button. Which is, I think, super useful. And there we go, we're at 2,049 gems. Yeah. Woo! Woo woo! 14 minutes to do those, not bad. Though, that was almost the same amount of time it took to actually beat the level. The levels in this game aren't actually long. What's long is the slow-paced mini-games. Alright, so, next level we gotta go to, I believe, is the, um, island level. The Pig Kahuna. Oh, wait, no, that's a Looney Tunes character. 
uh, you know, where the pigs live there. I will admit, the music in this game has been pretty good. It's nothing special, but it's not bad. Oh, no, that's the honey level. Um, the beach level is over here. It's a really weird home world, though. Like, it's cool that it has, like, different terrains. Like, you have, like, some fall stuff, you have some water, you have some grass, some sand, some stuff like that, but... I do believe we can just... We should be able to just hop on here, right? No? You actually have to talk to the pig? Aw, oh, man, I don't like these pigs. They're pork chops. Whoa, what the heck was that? Yay! You got enough dragonflies to get the boat up and running. Hop aboard. I literally did. I don't know why I had to talk to you, but okay. And there we go. T ready for the worst loading screen ever created in the history of Spyro? Yeah. Look at that. It's like... First of all, nothing's propelling it. It's literally just a shell with a... I don't know, another shell sticking out of it to make it look like a... pole. The, the water's not moving around us. The, the water's not even moving at all. It's just, like, so bad. Considering the water in this game isn't terrible. Alright, so we are at the level known as... Luau Island. We're almost halfway done. Once... Once we beat this level, we've technically pretty much finished half of them. The gems actually get less and less as time goes on. It's like 8, 7, 8, 8, or 9, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6. Jurassic Jungle is not an easy level, by the way. There's always 10 dragonflies, though, per world, so that never changes. So I guess that's a thing, if, it, if you're into that kind of thing. I don't think this one has as many mini games, so it has one where I don't think I'm going to be doing part two of it. I'll do part one. Kind of like I did with the blink levels in the other Spire game, where I would do the first part and then do the second part off screen. Just because it's a memory game and those games are like my weak point in uh, video games. Like, I remember a lot of stuff, yeah. Like, I'll remember puzzles and stuff like decades later, but. I don't like m those mini games. They're, they're just not ones that I'm the best with, so I'll do that on my own time. I'll do the first one, like I said, but I won't do the second one. Otherwise, you guys will just watch me suffer, and it's just it's just not fun. The music here is kind of corny, though. Uh 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 oh. Wait, what the heck? That enemy died. And dropped a gem way over there, despite me not actually hitting him, or him dying over there. Yeah, you gotta look really carefully around these zones for gems. That's why it sometimes feels like I spend way too long collecting gems in an area. Just because it can be hard to find everything, just because of the weird graphics of the game and stuff. I killed him! Woo! Oh look, it's Wing Shield, the most useless ability that only actually comes in handy once in this game. Hey, it's Gary. I'm surprised I didn't call you Gary or something, even though your name's Gary. And like I said, it's just straight up. Wait, did I just hear another dragonfly? Why did I hear another dragonfly already? See, some of the gold gems, I don't get that. Why are some of them worth like? Oh, never mind. It's you. Alright, we'll hit the switch, I guess. Alright, we unlocked the piglet over there. Hmm, delicious piglet. Alright, Mr. Tiki Torch Man. You guys are from Spyro 2. It's a shame that you guys made it into this masterpiece of a game, right? Considering you guys were cool enemies in a cool level with a cool soundtrack, and then you get tortured being here. Sound effect it sounds like somebody got bonked over the head. It's like bonk. Did I actually check all the water down there? I'm pretty sure I did. There's a dragonfly up there. It's taunting me. Oh, we have to talk to this guy, really? Thank you so much, Spyro. I just couldn't have handled being eaten for dinner. No problem. 
I'll keep a nose out for your friends. I think I can smell them roasting off in the distance. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, Spyro, that's mean, but they deserve it. They're pigs after all. Nah, pigs are cool creatures. Alright, what do we got next? Got some water and more platforms, and I hear a dragonfly again. Actually, it might be just them I'm hearing. There's also a dragonfly over there, but that's not the dragonfly I heard. The dragonfly I heard is technically above us, which, by the way, is notoriously difficult to get because of the just jarring platforming you have to do. Mr. Enemy, die. Where did his gem go? Did I collect it or not? I don't know. Also, sometimes the gems from enemies you kill go invisible, which is also an issue. That's why I recommend charging them, if at all possible. Because a lot of time it prevents that, where the gem will automatically be picked up by you. See, like that. We automatically picked up that gem. It prevents you from losing it, which is, which is good. <laughs> yeah, you did, my son. Uh, for this camera being active, it's sure not being very active. Also, where did that gem come from that I just collected? It was just like, bing! Like, I know the enemy's gem was where it was, but that other gem, it just went ping. Oh yeah, looks like we collected everything in here. There is this little underwater cave, though, that we can go to. Doesn't seem to have any actual gems in it, though. What the heck is going on in here, exactly? Oh, it's a little tunnel. Oh, it's like a little gem hoard. That's interesting, I guess. I'll take a bunch of free gems just for essentially doing nothing. Well, that was a 25 gold gem. Like I said, I think they really just forgot to color the gems purple. Oh my god, another pig. Spyro, I heard you on the island, but I didn't believe it. You gotta help me. One of the Riptox keeps calling me Ham Sandwich and asking me if I'd go better with mustard and mayonnaise. Uh, well, both for me, please. I like both on my sandwiches. And you guys are toast. Wait, was this the way I was supposed to go? Or is this just another loop around to that area? Because if this is the way we're supposed to go, it's kind of sucky. And that should open up the gate for that pig. Even though Spyro could literally just burn it down with his breath, you know? Wait, why did they go aha like the professor did in Spyro uh, 2 and stuff? Oh, thank god, I don't have to re-talk to him. I can turn him into a ham sandwich, though. Um, do you see that? That actually stopped me from charging the basket for whatever reason. Mmm, aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's just a Oh no, we actually had to go this way. Okay. Interesting. We got stuff over here, including a one-up. I hear that dragonfly. Which I'm pretty sure is notoriously difficult to get. I'm pretty sure. Other than the the one minigame that I mentioned, it's probably gonna be the hardest one to get here. The rest of them are actually pretty simplistic. There's even a hunter minigame that's not too bad. What's this one do? Alright, so that opened up that pathway. Yeah, see, there's still the dragonfly over there. Which is the difficult one to get. Can I, like, avoid this? It's not technically uh, a minigame challenge. But at the same time, it is. So what you want to do is you want to go into first person mode and then shoot these fireballs at these uh, little tiki heads over here. I don't believe you actually have to hit the target. No, you don't actually have to hit the physical target. Well, that's one way over there. And I believe that's the last one, right? Yeah, and there we go. It opened up these platforms. Oh yeah, and they gotta wait slowly for the breath ability to wear off. Huge oversight on the game, not being able to switch out of breaths. But, whatever. Hello? Um! 
Remember I mentioned that it's a hard one to get? Yeah, because of that. I literally just didn't want to get captured. At least we get this one. Socrates. Hey, it's Socrates. Wait, you just said Socrates. You forgot the S. It's Socrates. Because it has the S on the end, dude. Oh, and I know what's annoying about this part. It's because you gotta backtrack all this way. Yep. This will probably be the last thing we do in this episode is get this dragonfly. I generally spend about two episodes per zone. Usually because half of the other episode is... You know, half of each episode is technically in a different zone, too. Also, the really slow-moving uh, climb in this game is also kind of stupid. Like, I don't get why they made it so slow. It's like every game on the PlayStation 2 when it came to climbing, they made it notoriously slow. Like, it's fast, yeah, but at the same time, it's also slow. Oh my god. To avoid that stupid fire, they didn't really design this level worth a darn. Like, it's a really cool level, don't get me wrong, and I think it's beautiful. But, the platforming and stuff, and then the camera angles, like, I have the active camera on, which means it should be following us. We also have control over it, unlike in A Hero's Tale where it didn't let you control it. Even though, you know, you still should be able to. Yeah, the, the act... Okay, guys, um, I don't know why I fell through the floor there, but I think that's a good spot to end the episode. I'll just meet you guys when I get to the, the dragonfly, and I will see you guys next time. Remember to join the Discord and the Patreon in the link below. Uh, you guys can vote for which game you guys want to see on the channel next. I have the platforms on my Patreon bio with, um... Like, which ones you guys can actually vote for. Anywhere from, like, generally the Nintendo towards the PlayStation 2. It can also be Xbox if I own the game and stuff like that. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.